Google Tag Manager's triggers allow you to define the specific conditions under which tags should fire. Page space triggers are most commonly used as they allow you to tell Tag Manager to fire a tag when a particular page or group of pages are visited. Sometimes, you may need to fire a tag in response to a user's action that doesn't result in a full page refresh. For instance, you might want to fire a remarketing tag when a user adds a product to their shopping cart by clicking the Add to Cart button that is on your product page. Google Tag Manager makes it possible to create sophisticated triggers that are driven by various on-page interactions such as clicks on links or HTML elements, form submission, and more. To illustrate how this works, let's use the example of creating a trigger that fires a tag when the user clicks on a button that is on all product pages of an online store and has an ID attribute with the value Add to Cart. Click Triggers, then New, and select Click as the trigger event. Since we want the trigger to fire only when a specific button is clicked, select Some Clicks as the trigger filter. Add a URL-based filter to tell Tag Manager to only listen for clicks on product pages. Assuming all product pages are in a product subfolder of your site, we can set up the filter as URL contains mysite.com slash product. We recommend using contain rather than starts with conditions when possible and to omit the HTTP portion of the URL to account for cases when content can be viewed over HTTPS connections. Add a second filter to tell Tag Manager to only respond to clicks on the Add to Cart button. For this, we'll select Element ID equals Add to Cart. Click Continue, and finish your trigger configuration by giving it a name. Select Click as the trigger type. Once you've saved your trigger, you can use it when configuring any tag that needs to fire on a click on the Add to Cart button. When certain triggers, such as click-based triggers, are created, Tag Manager automatically populates built-in variables that contain dynamic information about the element that was clicked by the user. These variables include the ID or the CSS classes of the element clicked, the destination URL of the link clicked, and more. Different sets of variables will be auto-populated depending on the type of trigger chosen. All built-in variables associated with each trigger type can be viewed by clicking on the Variables tab of your containers page and can be enabled or disabled as needed. This is especially useful if you want to track clicks on links that are going to outside websites or links that initiate the download of a document. For more information, please visit support.google.com slash tag manager.